everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Please don't mind my wet hair look. I just took a shower. Yesterday we arrived to Medellin, so one of the bigger and more popular cities here in Colombia. We are staying at this like co-living space, apartment kind of. We have a really nice and big room and our accommodation also has a really, really lovely big rooftop with a big kitchen, which is where I am right now. It seems really, really nice. Really excited to be exploring Medellin for the next couple of days. I've been looking forward to coming here for a long time. I think our first thing for today though is to eat something. So let's go and grab some breakfast. Today's plans haven't really gone as we planned. First we tried to do a free walking tour but the timings were very inconvenient for today. And then we went all the way to the botanical garden just to realize that it was closed. So now as a plan C for today, we have come to a big shopping mall because we have some small things that we would need to get. We're gonna do the walking tour in the botanical garden then another time. Actually we booked the walking tour for tomorrow morning now instead. But um, yeah, let's see what we can find at this shopping mall. At the top floor of this shopping mall there's a nice big food court with so many different little restaurants where you can order from and it's great if you're with people where everyone wants to eat something a little bit different I always I don't know I somehow really love these food courts always and yeah I ordered myself a pasta oh it's coming okay uno momento so what I was saying I ordered myself this pasta and it came with a little salad and then I also got this cola let's try out this pasta That's good. Yummy. Mm. Nice and creamy. And yeah, I've been trying to find some sunglasses from here, but so far with not such good luck. I, I don't know, I feel like the type of sunglasses that I like are not in fashion anymore. And the reason why I'm trying to find new ones is because I lost mine. <laughs> But to be fair, they were already broken and stuff, so I don't really mind. But yeah, I can't seem to find similar ones anymore, but I'll still try and visit some shops. And then I would also need to buy a new like adapter for when charging things, because mine broke after like just a few weeks of the trip, which is really bad. And we've been using rules adapter, but it's a bit annoying sometimes for two people to have to use one. Yeah, so hopefully we can still find those things. about these I look, I look like a 50 year old uh, arts teacher what's up with these sunglasses why are there no normal ones <laughs> oh man we are now back from the shopping mall unfortunately my hunt for some new sunglasses was a failure but i did find a new travel adapter finally i got a new one and we don't need to share one anymore so it's a little bit easier going to a shopping mall on my first day in medellin was maybe not what i had in mind to be honest but um oh well i still enjoyed it We have now come to the spot where the free walking tour starts. It seems to be very popular. There seems to be so much people that we're being divided into two groups. It's supposed to take three hours and I'm hoping to get to learn more about this city and also to get a bit more familiar with it. Below him, there's a woman with a plate. They represent mining. The time when looking for gold was very, very important. You will see these horses like struggling to cross a river. 
they represent our efforts to get to the coffee region. That's what we did the walking tour with a company called Real City Tours and it was great. During the tour we walked around the central area of the city and it was so much fun to learn more about it. What I especially thought was really interesting was how much the city has changed and developed throughout the years. One interesting place that we visited was the National Palace Mall, which is a very beautiful looking historical building. It was designed by a Belgian architect and originally built to house different offices, but today it has been transformed into a mall. On the first floor you can find mainly different clothing stores, but if you take an escalator up you can also enjoy the free art exhibition that they have. For lunch we went to a really nice Colombian restaurant that our tour guide had recommended to us. Unfortunately however I've somehow managed to lose most of my footage from there though. But I had this dish called a cazuela which was like a soup with beans and veggies together with different side dishes. And for dessert me and my boyfriend shared something called an oblea. It was definitely quite an interesting dessert but good nonetheless. <laughs> morning please don't mind my shiny face i just put on some sunscreen so that's why it looks like that but um last night we had an earthquake here i woke up in the middle of the night and like the whole building and the bed and everything was shaking and this morning when i checked it had the magnitude of 4.6 so that's relatively strong i think what i know there hasn't been any damage or anything and at least everything in our accommodation seems normal it's, it's a confusing feeling to wake up to an earthquake in the middle of the night it has happened to me sorry just checking because I just ordered an Uber. But um, yeah, it has happened to me twice before that there's been an earthquake. The two other times were when I was living in Bali back in 2017. But um, yeah, since then I haven't experienced an earthquake. Somehow Rul slept through it. He didn't wake up from it, even though it was quite strong. Currently we are waiting for an Uber. It says the pickup will be in seven minutes. Today we are heading to the Botanical Garden. It's supposedly a very, very beautiful place to visit. We have now arrived to the Botanical Garden. The entrance is free, but do remember to bring your ID because they check that. But yeah, let's go and explore. I really need to try and find sunglasses, it's so bright. Can you see? It's a tiny, tiny turtle. Or is it actually a tortoise if it's not in water? Oh, it's so cute. Oh. Next to our recommendation, there's like a gelato slash frozen yogurt shop, so of course we had to come and try it out. I got some with chocolate and strawberries, and I got frozen yogurt. <laughs> We have 
come to a neighborhood known as Comuna 13 and this used to be the most dangerous neighborhood of Medellin but today the story is very different and yeah we're about to do like a three hour walking tour around here it costed 40,000 pesos per person I'm super excited to get to explore a whole new neighborhood today and that's the reason why we're not I think we're not very innovative to be honest Papa We did the tour with a company called Zippy Tours and they did an excellent job telling us about some of the heavy topics as well as the history, transformation and what life is like here today. The tour took about three hours and is definitely something I'd recommend for everyone. You can record if you guys want. In the 80s and 90s, Comuna 13, or as in Spanish called Comuna 13, was considered to be one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the entire world. But thanks to several military operations and community projects, this place has had a big transformation and today is a safe place to visit. Although this wasn't something easily achieved and unfortunately many innocent people lost their lives in the crossfires during that time. Today Comuna 13 is a vibrant and colorful place and a very popular tourist destination. now finished the Comuna 13 tour and it was really really good and this neighborhood is definitely very different from the other parts of Medellin that we've seen so far it's very vibrant and alive and I really like it actually currently we are waiting for an uber and then we're gonna have something to eat I think we're gonna go to some restaurant that's close by our recommendation we've now come to this cafe slash restaurant that's right next to our recommendation. We've walked past it several times and every time I'm like, oh, it looks really nice. So decided to try it out tonight. Got myself also a strawberry juice. Cheers. Oh, it's really nice. Looks good. It's like super juicy. So today is actually our last day here in Medellin, which I'm a bit sad about because I really do like the city and I feel like we've only like scratched the surface. It seems like there's so much you could do here. But yeah, I wouldn't mind necessarily maybe one day returning. Next up, I'm gonna be doing some editing. And on the way back from the brunch place, we also went quickly to the supermarket. And I wanna show you guys this drink. So yesterday, or no, actually the day before that, I discovered this drink. It's like a juice with mango and strawberry. And oh my goodness, it is so 
good, especially when it's ice cold. This one is. So if you ever see this in the supermarkets, you should definitely try. There are several different flavors, but I do think this strawberry mango one is at least so far the best one I've tried. <sighs> so good. I also bought this chocolate. I already tried one of these in Bogota and it's so good. It's called Burbu Jet Cruyi Vanilla. It's so good. So I'm gonna enjoy this chocolate and this drink whilst editing.